Good morning, this is Deborah's Custom Machine Quilting here. This is Deborah. Hey, wanted to talk a little bit about putting bindings on your quilts. We offer that at a uh, nominal charge. Uh, sometimes it's better to, to uh, cut your own bindings. It's a little bit cheaper and you can get exactly matching fabric that you had in your quilt. Usually a king size, even a super king, won't take more than a yard of fabric. So it's really pretty economical. Uh, there's a couple of schools of thought about binding. There's such a thing as bias binding. And uh, bias, when it's sewn on, it's nice. It's great for going around curves. Anything you have with a curve, you have to do bias binding. However, if your quilt has a straight edge, you can do straight edge binding, which is just cut the width of, of your fabric. And then it's sewn together till you get a long string and then you just sew it onto your quilt. The difference between straight edge binding and bias binding is that as your quilt wears, the straight edge binding may break through along that edge and it will ravel all the way down that edge sometimes. Whereas bias binding, when it breaks through with wear and tear, it will only ravel up into where you sewed it onto your quilt and then it stops. However, when your quilt gets to that stage, it's probably time to replace the binding anyway. So this is straight edge binding I'm doing. And when I do straight edge binding, I like to put it on an angle, put it in here, get it started I like to start at that edge and you see where it comes down to here that's where I aim for and if you'll aim from corner to corner you will have a straight edge seam we'll run this through and as most of you probably noticed I blew this one because I did not turn my fabric good side to good side but on the plus side, it will let me show you easier how this comes out, as you can see. And when we turn this over, you will have this kind of a seam. You just trim the back edge off, press it open, and you're ready to go on. Have a good day.